Hello and welcome to another Milwaukee Mighty Con video. We're going to talk about another artist that we ran into and checked out their items. This was Frankenslaves, number one and number two. I'll put as much info in the show notes as I can. Uh, we do have a synopsis on the back of this. I was going to go off their website and go to frankenslaves.com, but 2041. Welcome to Yogi's Bar and Takiria. Takiria. Takira? 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 It's the grimy place in the strip mall just south of Indianapolis on Route 37. Jane, the proprietor, bought the place after her life was turned upside down back in 33. It's about to go end over end. 1792. The truth behind an old story of reanimation from an age-long past is a tightly kept secret. Unfortunately, the key is buried somewhere under the Arctic ice. 2020, under the guise of COVID research, the German government scours the Arctic Circle for a long forgotten truth. And what they discovered in the thinning ice will change the world forever. The technology necessary to create a horror once thought to be a brilliant work of fiction. 2030. Freundenschaft. Or Freundschaft Industries, FRI, develops the Zeitlos labor unit. Uh, automations constructed with organic limbs and revolutionizes labor services around the the globe, I guess. It gets cut off there. Oops. Let's see. Let's go off theirs. It is the dawn of the Frankenslave. Germany, 2030. Freundschaft Industries develops the Zeitloss Labor Unit. Aut automa automations. Automatons. I can't read or speak today. <laughs> uh, automatons. Constructed with orga organic limbs, revolutionizing labor services around the globe. Meanwhile, back home again in Indiana, 2033. The North American branch in Indiana cannot keep up with the growing demand, so it's harvest time in the Hoosier State, dead or alive. The only thing that might stop them. One of their own deliverables. Yeah, looks like the same consensus on that one. But this was wonderful. I've been into the Frankenstein stories the past couple of years. There's been so many wonderful different depictions of the stories from back in the day. And in this one... I had to give it a depiction, I would say, in a world where we try to ab abolish slavery, we enslave the dead, but what if the dead have total recall of their body parts past? A trip through Frankenstein's past history, we had some history of Victor Frankenstein, Frankenstein's monster, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Will lightning strike twice? I just, I really love the route that they went with this concept. The storyline, the artwork, it's just wonderfully done, wonderfully laid out. They give you history lessons, take you back in time, into the future. And just put you all over the place. 
and they used every page, including the last page. It's like you don't, you're getting two beautiful looking comics, cover to cover, solid full of art, story, history, not a bunch of advertisements. Just, I would love to see this go for at least six issues. I'm curious what's going to happen with it. I hope it's an ongoing. I will do more research on it when I put all the information into the show notes later today and get you all the information you need to check it out and find out where to order these from. But you basically, uh, I don't want to ruin the storyline. It's just so, I love how the main character, at least for these two books, is called FR33, which I assume is based off the name free that's how I, how I basically took it that the whole storyline was a huge basis on slaves and stuff like that but I could be completely wrong but that's the way my brain went with it but I just love the way they did this I and mean, it is our future our future is going to be us being taken over by AI units or whatever and taking over our jobs, why not kind of zombify the characters to take over our jobs? If you can design a worker that doesn't need to eat, sleep, or anything like that, you can get more productivity out of them. That's the way our society will go, and they won't consider whether or not it's inhumane or not. They will just go ahead with it. And see what happens until the point that either the creatures we built destroy us or we destroy everything else. Or the very slightest things might actually work out for the best. But I don't think that will ever happen. Not the way our society is built on death and destruction. But these two books were a blast. I can't wait to find out. What else is coming out in the future? But if you want a different look at the Frankenstein storyline and get some lore of the past included in there and just a very, very enjoyable, unique take on the whole uh, resurrecting storyline, bringing back the dead from the past and not knowing what the consequences could be. And as we know with many Frankenstein, if not all Frankenstein stories, we find out in the long run what that could be, but I'm not going to ruin the story for you. I want you to get your butt out there and check it out. Read those stories. They're a blast. And I really hope we get more from these people. I should uh, was hoping they'd have it on there. I will get the, the company that they're using for their comics is Shellhead Comics. I have never heard of that before, but the comic stock that they use is beautiful, nice, thick pages feels wonderful in the hands but this is chapter one rebirth but creators are matt fitzgerald kevin fitzgerald writer is kevin fitzgerald artist is anna engel editor vanessa rodriguez fitzgerald story consultant matt fitzgerald chris edwards and if they need it in the future, you want someone to proofread everything and you need an editor, Kevin Kleinance, I'm here for you. I will gladly read over your stuff, proofread it, edit it, and still buy all your products. So. <laughs>
As long as you keep putting out stuff this good, I'm there for you. But another wonderful Wisconsin. Well, this is a Wisconsin collaboration of Wisconsin artists and writers. Fun. Lots and lots of fun. Just check it out. Frank and Slaves. Two issues out so far. Hopefully a lot more to come. Just got to keep an eye out. See what's out there. And we will get back here with more Milwaukee Mighty Con videos of things we picked up from different artists and writers. This week, we'll have a few out there. So keep an eye out for them on our YouTube channel, Under the Cull of MS. Also check out Under the Cull, Crimson Cull Comic Club, AB Conversation, and there's more. Just look in our links. We got it out there. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye.